All right, so this is the best loner for the event. Probably one of the best loners that we've ever had in Mass Duel events, period. Which, honestly, is not really saying that much, considering 90% of loners are just kind of kind of dog, except for that one Labyrinth loner during the Fairy Fiend Festival. <laughs> got Just got Nom flashbacks thinking about that. But, yeah. Why don't we go over what's good about this loner and uh, what could be improved upon this. So, the good part is that this deck actually has a win condition, which, as far as loners go, is not <laughs> guaranteed. You know, there are some loners where it's like, what am I supposed to actually do to win the game? But here, it's very simple. You have Mirror Sword Knight, and you have Cornfield Kodal, which basically just searches Sword Knight. And the simple one-card combo that you can do that you can basically win the game off of a lot of times, it's just Sword Knight, Tribute itself, Special, Birth Mid, Birth Mid, add Chimera Fusion plus Gazelle. You will then use Chimera Fusion to fuse the Gazelle in hand and the Birth Mid on field into a Chimera, the King of Fan and Beast. This will uh, hand loop your opponent for one in the end phase. It will trigger uh, Gazelle to add uh, any other illusion monster from objective hand, like it could be literally anything, it's just for mainly for follow up. And then Birth Mid will trigger to summon back the Sword Knight on the field. So your field should be Chimera and Swords Knight, and then the Chimera Fusion, you can add it back to your hand and then set it. So that on your opponent's turn, you can make a Chimera, a uh, Guardian Chimera on your opponent's turn using Chimera Fusion. So you have that, you have a hand loop for one. Mirror Swords Knight has a monster negate for uh, your opponent's monster on the field as long as you control a, a Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, which Chimera Countess, this Countess, and this Countess. Also, the OG Chimera obviously also counts as that, so you have a Monster Negate. You have a Targeting Protection, which is like, I guess you can count as half an Interruption. So, and then on your opponent's draw phase, you also use Mirror Swords Knight. It will Tribute itself, and then you get another Birth Mid, and then Birth Mid will add you another Gazelle and another Chimera Fusion. So, on, and then you have Imminent Follow-Up, and Guardian Chimera will also draw you one to two cards. Like, if it passes back to you for turn 3, your opponent's dead. You just kill them with a Chimera the Illusion Beast, just attack into any monster any like amount of times, the, their monster will get reduced to 0, and then you just attack it again, and then they, it doesn't die by battle, and you just attack it 3.1k again and again, and yeah, this... it's Honestly, it's pretty pretty decent, for especially for a 1-card combo in the loner deck. Like, there are legitimate decks that aren't loners, people are playing for this event that have a weaker turn one uh, setup than this Chimera uh, loner has. Also, its tech choices are also pretty decent too. Like, Alpha and the Master of Beast is honestly a, a very strong card depending on which deck you face. For example, let's say you're playing against Sword Soul, right? They're gonna go Baron, Chi Sao, Blackout. That's the most they can do this event. And guess what? One alpha fucking solos the entire Soul Sword Soul board. You special alpha attack over the Chi Shao. Now use its effect, balance, bay out the Baron Negate. You just literally destroyed, you just literally went through all three of Sword Soul's interruption with one card without using your normal summon. So yeah, Sword Soul is like honestly, if you play against Sword Soul with this deck, it's it's like one of your best matchups. I, I would say you have a winning matchup against Sword Soul. And uh, beyond that, you know, it's just a good going second card, and the fact that it is a beast, it actually helps out because all your fusions require a uh, beast monster in order to make, so yeah, this card's pretty decent. The Patrick engine is also, as, as, far, as far as secondary engines could go, you could do a lot worse than Patchwork. Like, this gives you fusion material, Edge and Chain is a fiend, which also synergizes because uh, most of your your Chimera fusions need two different types between Fiend, Illusion, and Beast. So, uh, Edge and Chain being Fiend and then Alpha being Beast helps out. It, it, like The deck actually looks like it, there's been thought put into it. And then obviously, uh, Poly itself gives your Chimera targeting protection, which is extremely relevant, especially for going second playing into boards, so that even if you don't open hand traps, between Alpha and then untargetable Guardian Chimeras, you can actually do a number on a lot of established boards you have, you'll face this event, and even 
even Fusion Armament, which is like, this card is kind of a meme, right? It's a joke. It, it just summons Time to find a Mythical Beast, which literally does nothing. It can't even attack. It's like, what's so great about this? Well, uh, so Cornfield Kodo, mainly uh, Mirror Swords Knight as well. Uh, these two have uh, their, their graveyard effects, or not graveyard effects, they have effects on the field or in the graveyard if you control a uh, Chimera Defined Mythical Beast. So Fusion Armament gets the Chimera the Defined Mythical, Mythical Beast out immediately, which means that as soon, once you do your plays, you're fully under, you can fully use these cards to protect your plays. Cornfield Kodo negates target protection. That means you go Fusion Armament first, you're protected from Imperm, which is like that's very strong. Not even Call by the Grave can protect you from Imperm, but like Cornfield Coldo can if you draw with Armament. Likewise, if your opponent has a board already, but you fusion Armament for uh, Chimera, and then you um, lead with Mirror Swords Knight, you can at any point Mirror Swords Knight, if they try to stop your play with a mo one of their monsters, you can Mirror Swords Knight and negate their monster effect. So yeah, this is fusion Armament actually has synergy. It's actually not the worst card in the deck. Now, <laughs> Those are the pros. Why don't we go over some of the cons, and including some of the worst cards in the deck. So first of all, there's no branded engine, unfortunately. They, they couldn't throw us a bone and that give us a branded engine. But branded fusion is the be deck's best starter, because on top of it searching your Cornfield Kodo and your Mirror Swords Knight, it also gets you a Rinrim on board, and it gets you an Alabaz and Grave, which can be summoned back with the Rinrim to do more fusion on your opponent's turn. Like, it's... It adds a lot of disruption and it's just more starters in a deck that lonely even though the one card play is very strong, it's only one it's only uh six cards that gets you your one card plays. If you don't draw one of these two, you're gonna be having to scavenge around like two to three card combos in order to get your mirror swords knight live. It's slow. Yeah, there are you will brick with this deck if you play play it enough, so you know be mindful of that. And also on top of like like to add on to the cards that are missing, it's also missing Dragos Lapelia, which is... I get that Dragos Lapelia is not a Fiend, Illusion, or a Beast Monster, so it doesn't fit to the theme of the fusions of the deck, but still, it's a no-brainer. Like, it's so easy to make a Dragos Lapelia. Literally any of these fusions, plus a Birthment on the field, which you will almost always have, because you just mirror... You most of the time have Mirror Swords Knight summoning Birthday during your opponent's turn. Like, you all... It's so easy to make a Dragos Lapelia. You can make it every single game. And it's, it's the fact that it, you don't even ha have that is, as an option. It's a big interrupt... It's, it's one extra interruption you can just easily make and it and it can play into boards too but it you no know, they, they just don't want to give give us that they want to throw us a bone there so unfortunate there's also as with the problem with every loner deck is that there, you just don't have that much non-engine you have three you have five hand traps okay five hand, hand traps it's it, it's not enough not only are you like only 50 50 basically ever even going to draw one hand trap this event I mean, one hand trap isn't going to stop a lot of decks, especially since you're not going to be playing mirror matches of fusion decks. So your Ash can't like stop a Dino Morphia Frenzy or like a Brand of Fusion because you're not going to even going to queue against those decks. Like if you play against Pearly, uh, I mean, one Ash ain't going to do anything against them, and Imperm half the time doesn't even do anything because they have Pearly straight for Dark and Protection. And speaking of Pearly, which is like the best Xyz deck with, that you're going to queue into, um, Alpha is good against some matches, as I've stated, like Sword Soul and some sometimes Cash. Um, Pearly is not a good matchup against for Alpha. Um, if they, if your opponent <laughs> activates a Pearly quick play spell when they go in f when they go first, and you like they're not and they're basically not the worst dumbest player in the entire world. There's like almost no way you can win. Uh, if they're if they just has sit on a Noir, it's so hard to like for you to do anything because none of your monsters are big enough to even. A contest running it over, and sure, if they let you do everything in your pot you possibly can, and you have a Guardian Chimera that's untargetable, well, I mean, at the end of the day, they can just spin the poly back from the grave into the deck during the end phase, and then oh, suddenly they can do stuff on against you during their turn. It's yeah, it, I, I sometimes they're just like if I don't open a five card all gas hand going second versus probably that I don't, I I just leave and just, I just go next, and. You know what's uh, what's also nice to have hand traps versus um, all the wobble combo synchro decks 
that like take 37 turns to finish one combo. Like we're talking Synchron, we're talking TGs, we're talking Black Wings. Um, yeah, you good. You're, you're probably not going to draw a hand trap against them a lot of the time. So it's it's just going second in this deck can be brutal if you just play against the the decks that are actually unfair. Also. The, the, some of the other tech toys in this deck, like Burfamit and Gazelle, like what the hell is- I know, I know this is like nostalgia bait, I guess, but these cards fucking suck. Like this is the second effect Chimera Fusion. You, you can banish this, so instead of adding this back to your hand and recycling Chimera Fusion to use on your opponent's turn, you can banish Chimera Fusion and lose it forever to summon uh, two essentially vanillas from your deck. Like, what the fuck is the point of that? Well, like, you can't even do anything with these. You don't have Link Monsters in your deck. Like, what? 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 What is? What's the? You're running two bricks to summon two Vanillas from your deck. Thank, thank you. I mean, I, I don't. Who even is nostalgic for Burfamit and Gazelle? Like, I get Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, sure. Who? Who is that nostalgic that they would come back to play the game for Burfamit and Gazelle? Like, I. Yeah, these. Waste of space in this deck. Let's say that. Uh, Nightmare Vision. Basically a waste of space because this is the worst illusion monster you have. It's only ever comes up if you're already winning so hard that you got multiple searches off Burfamit and then you can fusion summon on your opponent's turn with the Burfamit to bring back the Nightmare Magician, which is like, yeah, that, that matters a whole lot. And it, and uh, Diabolic. I didn't even know this card existed. This card, basically, if you fusion, if you, if this is into the grave, you get to add back any fiend monster. Mostly the only fiend monsters that you can add back are like Ejim Chain and Burfamid and and Burfamid. So yeah, they, these are these are just cards that you really want stuck in your hand, back in your hand, right? And if you like fusion summon, I believe, uh, if a fiend is sent to the grave, then you can special summon this, which is like this also doesn't do any, anything. It's just basically if you fusion summon, this gets you back one extra material. So that you can make fusing again easier. But the hard part is getting to the first fusion summon. It's not like ah, what you do after. Like this, if these waste of spaces in this deck were just more hand traps, like this deck would be so much better or going second and all that stuff. But I mean, what, what can you do, right? It's it's not perfect. Maybe one day they'll just keep improving on loan decks to the point that you'll actually have a deck that resembles an actual constructed deck and not just a, a half constructed deck with some what the like wtf card choices in it but yeah if you want to see uh some gameplay of this deck let's let's get to it so this game is a game where we draw double chimera fusion and our mirror sword nice starter now obviously you get ashed we're cooked but we're the better player, so our opponent doesn't have them. And Chimera Fusion is insane to draw multiples of because it's actually not a <laughs> once per turn at all. So, the standard plays Burfamit, add Gazelle, and go Chimera. Chimera, hand loop for one. Gazelle triggers, Burfamit triggers, summoning back Mirror Knight, and then adding Cornfield Kodo because we didn't have Kodo yet. We add Chimera Fusion back to hand, then we use Cornfield Kodo to send it to the grave and add Mirror Sword Slide. Then we'll set three. Okay, so normally, right, you you, you you would only have one Chimera Fusion. We just happen to draw two chi additional Chimera Fusions in our combo, so we get two extra fusions on our opponent's turn. But this is what their one card combo ends on. You have a, a Gazelle, which is a hand loop at the end of end phase for one. We have also a Cornfield Kodo Engrave, while well, while we control a Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, which every fusion monster counts as. We get a to negate and destroy any card that uh, targets any of our cards. And then we also have Mirror Swords Knight, which is a monster negate as long as we have a Chimera Flying Mythical Beast on field 2. And during your draw phase, well, they, their first wand because they have a player priority, but then you will draw phase using Mirror Knight. And Mirror Knight will summon another Birthman from the deck. And then that Birthman will also trigger to add another copy of Gazelle and Chimera Fusion if we you know if we didn't already draw all three Chimera Fusions. So that that was a kind of giveaway of what we have set in the fact that we didn't add a Chimera Fusion thinking. But yeah, you have all of this follow-up for next turn, and then you have 
these two disruptions engraved by hand loop for one, and you get like a chimera fusion that fuses your opponent's turn, usually into a guardian chimera. But our opponent starts with Raid Soft, so they have Raid Soft plus Dia Bell Star. Special the Unicorn, and I'm gonna shotgun the Chimera Fusion because you know I do have three Chimera Fusions, so you know might as well get used out of them, right? Go into Guardian Chimera. This is gonna pop, and we're gonna trigger some Chain Links. Chain Link one Gazelle, Chain Link two Burfamit. Bringing back the Mirror Sword Slide. That, that was a miss. You should I should probably bring back the Corn Shield Caldo because the Mirror Sword Slide has, has a more relevant effect, and you have to banish it to negate. So yeah, we add a Magician, and then we draw two, and then we pop that. And then they're going to one for one, discard Nibiru, add Materia Mole Cricket, actually Mole Cricket, and we're gonna negate that with Mirror Swords Knight. So yeah, already a pop and a negate, and then we have two more. So this is pretty much the best hand that I've ever drawn with this deck. And I know it seems kind of weird, like, yeah, I have Edge and Chain, Double Patchwork, and Poly. That's like five of the cards in my hand are literally the exact same cards. How is this? How is this good? Just watch. So Patchwork first to try to bail out an Ash, and here we have two Double Chain, Double Poly, and then Cornfield Kodo add a Mirror Sword Light. And if this was, if I got Ashed, yes, it's true I get cooked, but we didn't get Ash, so now we get a uh, Mid to add Gazelle and Chimera Fusion. Then Poly, these two away into uh, Chimera, trigger Chimera, trigger these two, get summon back from Mirror Swords Knight, add Nightmare Magician. And then I'll use uh, Chimera Fusion to make a Birth of it. This will trigger Birth of it, and Edge of Chain will add us another patchwork just to fin our deck, and then I'll send Diabolica. Diabolica will add a Birth of back to hand, and then Chimera Fusion adds itself back to hand. I'm gonna poly again, poly these two away to make a Magnum the Reliever. And then Magnum is gonna draw another card. And then I set, set three. And then end phase, Chimera pops one, and then draw phase, we'll use Chimera to bring back the Mirror Sword Knight, and then Mirror Sword Knight is gonna get Birth Mitt, and that's gonna get follow up. Now, that does play into Call by the Grave, but at the same time, I don't really care. The Call by the Grave. It would have killed the follow-up, but we already have double Chimera Fusion plus Magnum Reliever on the field as Interruption. So like, it, it's it, it's fine to be called by that. I don't, I wouldn't really care at that point. But they didn't call it by it, so now we have an extra body on the field for Fusion, and we just added another Gazelle to hand for us more Fusion material. So what's our opponent gonna do? Uh, they're on they're on the Resonator Loner. So this is a this is the, this is a heavy mismatch because they went second, and they're not gonna be able to do anything in this board. They're gonna Soul Resonator add a. Vision Resonator, sure. At this point, I'm gonna Chimera Fusion and then Chain Magnum to pop the Soul Resonator. And then these two go into another Chimera, but I'm gonna trigger Chimera's effect, and then I'm gonna trigger Gazelle's effect, and I'm gonna use Diabolic's effect, because I, I was clicking buttons, I didn't even know it had another effect, to be honest, and they just special summon itself, and I'm like, oh, whoops, now they can summon the Vision Resonator from hand again. Uh, my bad, I, should, I probably shouldn't have done that. But it, we're so far ahead, it doesn't matter. They're gonna. Summon Bone Archfiend, and then we're just gonna make a Guardian Chimera to pop two, and you know, goodbye their field, draw another card, and yeah, it's. it's I I mean it's it, it. It was a duel of the loners, and we went first. So and we drew basically the Exodia. So yeah, that's shows the 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 ceiling with a deck, even though it's a loner. It's actually pretty decent compared to uh, a lot of uh, regular decks that aren't loners in this event. So, this is going to be uh, rare footage of this deck succeeding going second. And why? Because our opponents aren't on Sword Soul. So, like I mentioned, Alpha literally solos the entire Sword Soul board by itself. It ain't even. This, this, sword, this card is like greater than Sword Soul. So, they're, they're going to do their, their whatever line. For some. I don't, I don't know why they summon the Ashuna. There's no. Like, this doesn't do anything. There's no. Uh, can you links? This, this is just a, this is just a Ashuna chilling on the field. Sure, yeah, Baron she's out. Like like I care about that. So literally, I could be greedy. I could be just be safe. Summon Alpha, attack over Grandmaster, then use Alpha's effect, bounce bait out the Baron negate, and that would be over. They, they will lose both their interruptions. But I'm gonna be greedy, and I'm gonna use Fusion Arvin, summon a uh, Gazelle first, and then Patchwork. See if they negate anything. If they do, they're just dead. 
so they don't, so I'm gonna poly. Still don't activate anything, so now I'm gonna act <laughs> summon Chimera and uh, activate Chimera's effect, activate Edge Chain, activate Diabolic Add Back Chain, and Pepe laugh. <laughs> they don't know. They tried the sword. <laughs> Let's try the Chi Shao and the Gate the Guardian Chimera when I have a Poly engraved. <laughs> Rookie mistake. So they're gonna negate their own Ashuna. Very nice, and waste their their Chi Shao negate. So now I get to pop their Baron and they're out of interruptions. I I didn't even summon Alpha. I, I literally didn't do anything. So yeah, Alpha can put that back, and I'm gonna Guardian uh, Fusion uh, Chimera Fusion into Chimera to find Mirror Peach. Now the, I didn't have Mirror Swords Knight or Kodo, so I didn't actually have a starter, but I mean, I didn't, who, who needs a starter when you're playing against Sword, the Sword Soul is like honestly a favorable matchup for the loader. It's, it's, I was wild as that is to say, oh no, the, yeah, there's the hand loop, hand loop the worst card out of hand, as always. I, I, <laughs> like man, I, I, imagine like have, playing a real deck and having a Minus matchup against one of the loner decks, I can't. and it's not the labyrinth event. So yeah, that that Moya gets gets infirm, and then that uh, Taya gets Guardian Chimera again. Uh, we're gonna pop both of them, and all they have is a, a Shuna in hand, and all all of this comes back, and we draw another card, and boom, 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 yeah. All right, it's so just if you queue up against Sword Soul. Especially if your opponent doesn't know what they're doing, like, oh, oh man, it's, you're, you're gonna farm Cement with this loner. So we saw one way to win going second, which is having our opponent just throw the game completely. And here's another way to win going second. Opponent opens Irene, draw a card, and set. Just hard brick. Now, unfortunately, like, I would have liked to actually have them not break and open a playable hand because this ha hand actually plays decently well into into a board. It has Patchwork and Chimera Fusion and the Mirror Swords Line already. Like that's that's basically all you can ask for if you don't open any non-engine. So I'm going to activate Patchwork and this gets ashed. I was just trying to bait out the ash, but please don't ash Patchwork in any deck that plays Patchwork because there's always be a better choke point for you to ash. And then Kodo adds Mirror Sword Knight, normal Mirror Sword Knight. Um, you should enter battle phase here. And just attack over to Irene because if I if I use Sword Knight effect and I get called by it, uh, I lose my Sword Knight and they get next season on the Irene. I would have lost the game on the spot. So don't 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 do that. Don't do what I did. Just just enter battle phases, play play around the cards. I get burp from it and add two cards. And then I end up attacking into the Irene anyways without committing any fusion. So I, I just lost 500 damage for no reason and I played the call. Play. So yeah, main phase two, the Chimera fusion we added. We're gonna add Guardian Chimera and. We're gonna get a chain link four. One, two, three, four. Diabolica adds back Birthmit, which is really, really relevant, I guess. We're gonna imperm the Chimera, and I'm gonna chain the second Chimera fusion to dodge the imperm. Even though there's nothing to pop, at the very least, if I dodge the imperm this way, I at least get the draw two off of Chimera. And we're gonna go into Bagnum the Reliever. And yeah, the imperm doesn't do anything. We add. Uh, all this stuff back, add back some back mirror sword knight, add a nightmare magician, draw two cards, magnum, and use fusion armament because I guess why not, right? <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's, it's just pretty over from there. We're gonna draw another card off of a uh, magnum probably, and then set chimera fusion, and then make another guardian chimera on their turn, and we have to the gate set up and stuff like that. But. So, are you gonna win every game with this deck? No, obviously not. I, I would say it, it'd be impressive if you can maintain a 50% win rate with this loner. That being said, this is an event and you're not punished for losses and you can just leave whenever you want it when you see the writing on the wall. So it the fact that if you can pull a near 50% win rate with a deck that literally costs you nothing and, and you didn't even have to bother building yourself, I mean, that's perfectly fine. You can definitely get all the gems quite easily just by using this. I'm... Uh, fairly certain. I've I've gotten a fair number of them myself already with this deck, just uh, by testing. But if you're not interested in this loner deck, and if you want to play some non-loner decks, either budget or just non-budget, like if you already ha if you're lucky enough to own a legit synchro Xyz 
or fusion deck. You know, I I made a couple videos on the possible decks you could build to use for this event. Uh, they're on both sides in the screen here.